Okay, so this is geometry lecture, or geometry project number three, section 1.3, points of interest in triangles. This is actually a very short section, uh, but it's got a lot of beautiful, simple uh, theorems in it, and I, I just want to focus on three of them. So, number one, circumcenter. You'll remember from section 1.1 we learned a formula about the circumscribed, the radius of the circumscribed triangle, that area equals a, b, c over 4r. And uh, the question becomes now, how do we find the triangle that circum the circle that circumscribes a given triangle? So the first thing you have to know, just a very simple fact from geometry, if you have a line segment a, b, the perpendicular bisector is equidistant any point on the perpendicular bisector is equidistant from the two endpoints of the line. So that's the only that's the only thing you need to know to find the circumcenter of a triangle. So let's take a quick look at a, at a I'll try to draw a big triangle here. Of course I drew an e close to an equilateral triangle, so let's draw let's draw something a little a little non-equilateral. Okay, so we'll look at the perpendicular bisector of this side. Why don't I draw those in red? A, B, C. One perpendicular bisector here. And one perpendicular bisector here. Let's say it looks like that. Okay, so now notice this intersection point has the following two properties from what we just talked about. Because it lies on this perpendicular bisector, it's equidistant from C and equidistant from A. And now this perpendicular bisector, this line lies on this perpendicular bisector as well, which means, well, to make the point here, why don't I use one more color purple, it means this distance here is the same as this distance here. So now we get an amazing fact that this point, even though we've only drawn two perpendicular bisectors, we learn that this point is equidistant from A, B, and C because the distance from A to here equals the distance from C to here, and the distance from C to here equals the distance from B to there. So the, uh, what that tells you is the third perpendicular bisector intersects in the same point. And notice we couldn't use Chavis' theorem to tell us this, because these are not Chevians. These are not points coming from the vertices to the opposite edge. These are just the perpendicular bisectors. So the, the center of the circumscribed circle is equidistant from the three vertices and has this as its radius, so it looks like, oops, I think, don't think you can see below that, but there you go. So there's a little elementary facts about the circumscribed triangle. Okay, next we're going to take a look at the medians. Okay, so here we are taking a look at the medians. The median of a triangle is a chevian that runs to the midpoint of the opposite side. So following the notation in the book, I'll call that A prime, B prime, oops, C prime, and B prime. So these run to the midpoints of the opposite sides, so that means these two sides are the same, these two sides are the same, and these two sides are the same. And uh, Geometry Revisited gives a property here that I had just completely forgotten about, or maybe I never learned it at all, but it's such an elementary property, I think it's, it's fascinating to take a look at it. You'll notice that these two triangles here, why don't I call this point in the middle P, triangle BPA and the triangle CPA have the same area. The reason is their bases are the same and they have the same height going up to P, so we'll call this area X. Similarly, the two triangles BPC prime and AC prime P have the same area. We don't know what that is, but I'll call it Y. And these other two triangles, APB prime and CPB prime have the same area. Again, they have the same length in the base because this is the median and these two sides are now equal. And they have the same height going up to P. So I'll call that Z. However, an interesting observation is that the larger triangle, which I'll see if I can draw in purple here. Oops, I've already used purple, haven't I? 
uh, about orange. The larger triangle, ABA prime and AA prime C, also have the same area. And that's because they have the same base, because A prime is in the middle, and they have the same height. But if these have the same area, that says x plus 2y equals x plus 2z. In other words, y equals z. A similar argument on these triangles here, c, c prime b, and c, c prime a, shows that both y and z are actually equal to x. So you have an incredible fact about the medians, that the medians divide a triangle into six smaller triangles that all have the same area. And that actually, I think, is incredible. I, 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 like I said, I either didn't know that or was never taught that. Now, you can, you can do another really interesting thing. Look at the triangle B, C prime, C. I'll try to, even though I've used purple, I'll try to draw this thing in purple. B, C prime, C. And look at this triangle and this triangle. This has an area of x, c, p, b, and this has an area, p, c, b, of 2x. So b, the area, b, c prime p, twice b, c prime p, two, two times that x, equals the area of b, p, c. And but look, they have, they share a common line on the base and they have the same height. And that means this, er, this implies that twice PC prime equals PC. And what that tells us is the medians trisect each other. If this has a length of 2, this has a length of 1. So the medians, their intersection point cut them in thirds. Which is, a, which is another fact that probably if you study geometry everyone knows, but this is a very simple proof of this fact. So yeah, I, found this, I found this section about medians to be fascinating. Very simple proof that the medians trisect each other. And a, a really incredible fact about triangles and their medians. The medians <coughs> cut a triangle into six smaller triangles that all have the same area. Okay, on to the angle bisectors. Oop, this is number three, not number two. So number th the third thing we're going to look at from this section is are the angle bisectors. So the angle bisectors of a triangle, the, the name, easy to, to see why, it just cuts each angle in, in half. Uh, if you refer to the book, you'll see an easy proof, obviously, from Chiba's theorem, that these angle bisectors all intersect in a common point. And the interesting thing about this common point is that it's the center of the inscribed circle. And the reason is an angle bisector is going to be equidistant from the two sides. So no matter what point you pick on this angle bisector, it's equidistant from these sides. And the point where they intersect is equidistant from all three sides. And so you can draw the inscribed circle. You can sort of draw the inscribed circle. And notice, uh, don't be fooled by either my picture or the picture in the book. The tangent points where the inscribed circle hits the sides of the triangle are not the same as the feet of the angle bisectors. They're, they're different. In fact, a, a great exercise in the book says if you take the Chevians, so you know where this is going by now, you take the Chevians that go to the angle by to the intersection points of the inscribed circle. and they intersect in a single point. And uh, this actually isn't that hard to prove. It may actually be one of the exercises, but I'll sketch the proof for you. B is an external tangent. Those, those tangents, the sides of this triangle are tangent to the circle there, which means from uh, a simple theorem from your beginning geometry classes that these two sides have the same length. If a point tangent to a circle on the outside, the two tangents have the same length. Similarly, from A going down to those points, those two tangents have the same length. Maybe different than X. Maybe, who knows? Might be the same. But 
all, we certainly know they're, they're, these two lines, segments, are the same, right? Similarly, from C in, those two are the same. So this is actually a fairly simple proof. Now we use Chivas theorem, x over z times z over y times y over x. Cross out, cross out, cross out, equals 1. So even the, the points, the Chivians connecting, uh, drawn to the points of the intersection of the inscribed circle with the triangle intersect in one point. And I think it's called the Gagon point of the triangle. I don't know what it, it's used for, but it's an, another interesting fact. So, now we've learned how, to, how you construct the inscribed circle. You find the intersection point of the angle bisectors. We learned a wonderful fact about the medians, that the medians have the property that they dissect the circle into six, dissect the triangle into six smaller triangles of equal area. And we learned an interesting fact about the perpendicular bisectors, which is their intersection point is the center of the circumscribed circle. So this is a really great section, and there are a couple wonderful problems in this section too. Um, so I, again, I encourage you to take a look at the book, Geometry Revisited, and you'll find a lot of fun problems in section 1.3. Thanks for watching.